What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow and we are talking about variables, specifically initializing a variable. So let's start at the beginning. What is a variable? A variable is a piece of information that we may not know right now or may change later on. So um, in terms of computers, we talk about it as storing values where that value may not be a constant. So we may have a variable that has, uh, which is just a number, and it's just the number 10, but in some circumstances that number will actually be 8, or it'll be 16, or it'll be 324. So a variable allows us to have a specific sort of label that we can call where that value may or may not change. And in terms of Microsoft Flow and initializing variables, we are talking about creating a specific type of a variable and then giving that a value. And then later on, we can change that value if we wish. Now let's take a look at that. I'm in Microsoft Flow. I've got a manual flow trigger here. And we're just trying to go to add step. I'm going to built in, I'm going to expand the list, I'm going to go to variables. And this one here is initialize a variable. So we need to give our variable a name. So we'll call this test v1. Now we also have types. So it defaults to Boolean, but this is in, uh, well, I thought it was in alphabetical order. It's not. Um, so there are a list of types that we can have here from Boolean, integer, float, string, object, or array. Now, we're going to go for integer in this example, so we just want looking for a whole number. Uh, and here, we're going to put in the whole number as the number 10. And that's all we're doing. So we can save that, and we can uh, run this, we can test this Microsoft flow. So go to test, I'll perform the trigger, run the flow, done, and it ran successfully. And all it is, is just storing the number 10. So now we can use, we can call this variable variable in other places. So we can use this test v1 name to then call this variable somewhere else. And we can maybe manipulate some data with it, or we can change the value, or we can you know, update this variable to be something different. So that's what we can do with this. But we need to first initialize that variable so that we can um, use it later on, update it later on. And this is a way for Microsoft Flow to allow us to create variables that we can use later on. It's a very common concept in a lot of computer coding languages. So it's going to be very useful for your uses in Microsoft Flow. What do you guys think? Are variables something that you use all the time? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share my uh, my YouTube videos. If you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you've not hit me up on Twitter already, please do so. I'm the at D365Geek. Really easy to find. Um, hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.